Okay, it's been a long time I don't post a video on about my racing engine. Uh, many guys ask in the comments uh, what's inside my, my racing engine and what what have I done to it and, and all of this. Today I'm going to show you a little bit since I'm rebuilding it. Uh, a lot of my insides. Um, we start with uh, adjustable cam gears, big camshaft, titanium retainers, uh, good port head, uh, brakes plate, you know, for the for the engine not to break. And we also have, let me show you this. Okay, since the head is not on yet. So I'm using a, a copper head gasket. And we did all rings to the block to for the high compression in order to for a better seal. Also, I want to show you that a big trick of my racing engine to produce power is the stroker. The stroke on the engine. As you can see, we have about 4 inch of stroke in it. This is a custom made uh, crankshaft. Uh, nobody, I don't, I have, I've never heard of someone that has a four, four inch stroke. So um, another thing that I want to show you is that usually these are the connecting rods that we're using for this type of engine. These are Eagle with the uh, ARP uh, bolts, same as the ones that are inside there. We have, uh, we use the head studs for this. I haven't installed them yet, but those are the ones I'm gonna, they're gonna go in there. And let's let's take a quick look on the, on the bottom. So, uh, as you can see inside, we have the H beam connecting rods and the pistons are areas pistons, as you can see. Those are area pistons. Those are uh, they were custom made for this application. Uh, big bore, as you can see. And that's pretty much it for you guys. So uh, I hope some of you guys uh, can build some something like this in the future. But uh, it took me a while for me to get to this to this point. So I'm gonna start uh, installing the head in this in this baby today, and then um, hopefully I can make another bit another video once I turn it on, and so you guys can hear the progress. All right, thank you.